Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In a boost to its air power, Pakistan has decided to induct additional 50 JF-17 Block 3, the upgraded version of JF-17 fighter jets. It has also been reported that 25 J-10C is being inducted to counter Indian rafiles. Pakistan has announced that the newly inducted J-10C will be part of a fly past at Pakistan Day Parade on 23rd March. Both of these fighters are decent fighter jets, though not a match for rafiles, but numerical superiority will also count. India has only 36 rafiles. In contrary, Pakistan will be adding 75 new fighter jets to its inventory. Recently, pictures of J-10C which will be delivered to Pakistan has surfaced on Twitter. It can be seen that the Pakistan fighter jet is undergoing trials and powered by WS-10B engine developed by China. In March 2020, Chinese state media for the first time had released a video of J-10C powered by WS-10B which was part of the fourth batch of J-10Cs for PLA Air Force. Earlier, the J-10C was powered by Russian AL-31 FN engine which can generate 79.43 kN of dry thrust and 125 kN of thrust with afterburner. The Chinese WS-10B engine produced better thrust than AL-31F engine in the range of 120-140 kN. Back in 2018, during the Zhuhai Air Show, the WS-10B engine with thrust vectoring was revealed and demonstrated in flight fitted to a J-10B and performed jaw-dropping performance and high angle of attack nose authority that is exhibited by Russian flankers and US Air Force F-22 Raptor. This version of WS-10B is called WS-10B-3. The engine has greater reliability, thrust and thrust vectoring control than its predecessor WS-10A. The thrust vectoring technology can be counterproductive because it adds weight to an aircraft but this is compensated with extra power and added agility of thrust vectoring. It would also theoretically allow aircraft to fly and maneuver at much higher altitudes, giving its sensors more reach and its missile greater kinetic performance. While there are a lot of bold claims about the new WS-10B engine, information related to its reliability is not available. Reliability is key to any engine and especially in case of J-10C as it's a single engine fighter. I think more detail about the reliability will come out when Pakistan starts operating them as China will never reveal these information and Pakistan cannot hide. China has also developed a more advanced version of WS-10B engine called WS-10C. It will feature improved afterburners and is full authority digital engine control FADEC capable. Last year, the engine has also been seen with still their sawtooth exhaust feathers. The WS-10C can generate a maximum thrust of 142 kN with afterburner which is more than the Russian AL-31FN engine. The engine will replace Russian AL-31FN engines being used in J-10C and its stealth fighter J-20. It is an attempt of China to remove engine's dependency from Russia and match the power of F-22 Raptor in which they seem to be progressing very well. Back in January last year, the Chinese engineers also claimed that the WS-10C is as good as AL-31F. The J-10C is much better fighter than JF-17 which is at present the backbone of Pakistan's Air Force and F-16s but not better than Rafael. The J-10C is equipped with PL-15 as BVR missile and PL-8 and PL-10 missile for within visual range. The PL-15 claims to have a range between 200 to 300 kilometers, but Pakistan will be getting its export variant, which has a range limited to 145 kilometers. This missile is going to add problems for Indian Air Force, though Air Force has now indigenous Astra Mark I and MBDA Meteor both better than Chinese PL-15 export variant. The J-10C features an indigenously developed AESA Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar with 1200 TR modules and with the new WS-10B engine, these radars should be able to get enough power for them to operate in their full potential. Overall, we can say this is a good news for Pakistan Air Force 
and at the same time this is going to be a matter of concern for Indian Air Force which has declining squadron strength and MRFA yet to be finalized. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.